Hello, I'm Cliff Harris. Success can mean a lot of different things to different people. Some base it on wealth and power, some on fame. To me, my good friend Kelsey Warren's multifaceted qualities exemplify true success as a whole person. His success stems from his vision. The bigger you dream, the more you will succeed. He inspires everyone around him through his passion and his drive. Because of his high expectations, he makes others believe that the impossible is only an obstacle. And yet, through all his years and great success, Kelsey has never forgotten his roots, White Oak, Texas. And I've had the good fortune of witnessing firsthand what a special person he is. Whether he's in the boardroom, creating music, or helping his community, Kelsey is the same person he's always been, always dedicated to his family, his colleagues, and friends. I'm proud and humbled to introduce Mr. Kelsey Warren and welcome him into the 2014 Texas Business Hall of Fame. Kelsey Warren is Chief Executive Officer and Chairman of the Board of Directors of Energy Transfer Partners, a company that 20 years ago began as a small interstate natural gas pipeline operator. In 2002, ETP maintained 200 miles of natural gas pipelines. Today, the company claims 71,000 miles of natural gas, natural gas liquids, refined products, and crude oil pipelines, making the energy transfer family of companies into one of the largest and most diversified partnerships in the U.S. After 25 years in the energy business, Kelsey Warren is grateful for his good fortune and trusts his instincts about the future and the amount of work required to stay one step ahead of this sustainable business. It was very fortuitous that I got into it out of college and then, and then when I studied it and understood the business, I recognized that this business is sustainable and this business is always going to need more infrastructure. That will never ever change. Cliff Harris is the Director of Energy Transfer Technologies, a part of the ETP family. Well, I know very few people that can match Kelsey's intensity, because when he wants to win, he's one of the most competitive guys I've ever known. If you really want to succeed, if you will pick a sustainable industry, so it can't be something that, that has a, a limited life, but something sustainable, and if you'll go in and study that business and understand it as well as you possibly can, and the only way I know to do that is surround yourself with hardworking, bright people that all have the same common goal. If you'll do that, it, it always works. Success is often measured in terms of the bottom line. But for Kelsey Warren, success is a journey that began with an unshakable foundation at home, where he formed strong character traits like honesty, discipline, and determination. His early years in college were impressionable and most likely influenced his future career decision. Well, I, I went to kindergarten through uh, senior year in high school at White Oak and then decided to go to University of Texas at Arlington. I did pretty well in everything but attending class. Went back to East Texas uh, and joined my dad. Uh, uh, we had, uh, I referred to it as a come to Jesus meeting. so. Uh, basically, I, I, uh, I saw the light, uh, went back to work, and <laughs> for whatever reason, UTA decided to let me back into engineering school, which I still don't understand that. Uh, but I, I was a different kid. I, I grew up and did okay after that. I didn't want to leave Dallas, and the highest paid job offer I had was from Lone Star Gas Company, who just happened to be in the pipeline business. Now, it, it turned out to be Fate, and it turned out to be wonderful because I moved from the engineering department into what was called a gas buyer. And that's when my brain began to register, uh, oh, I see, this is how people make money in this business. I began to, to, to decide I, I want to do this for me. I, I really want to, to find a way to create my, my own gas company. He teamed up with colleague Gray Davis and formed Energy Transfer Partners. That business venture confirmed the idea that success comes on its own time. For a while, Ray and I would go into our bank accounts and pay bills, and then, then I was embarrassed because I couldn't keep up. So I, I actually moved out of my home in Dallas, moved to a little lake house I had, and didn't tell anybody. I was too embarrassed. 
and uh, put my house on the market so I could make payroll. But then like anything else in my life, I mean, uh, a, a deal clicked and we went, uh, we started, we went into the black and, and never really went into the red again. It was, you know, just that typical luck, that angel that follows me around. Kelsey has a passion for music and spends as much time as he can in his Austin-based recording studio. He recently produced a tribute album to Jackson Brown that included artists like Don Henley, Bonnie Raitt, and Lyle Lovett. His dreams are not limited to his own interests. His generosity is immeasurable. Just ask the namesake of the new Deck Park in downtown Dallas, Kelsey's son, Clyde. He has a saying that you are better than no one, but no one is better than you. And that, that just really inspires you to, to never give up at life. Because if you put your mind to it and put in the work, you can be anything that you would like to be. And that, that happened with my dad. He, he, he grew up in a small town, not knowing much, and, and he just strived to become the best he could be, and he did pretty well.